Yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Denali back at you with another review video So in this one we are going to be reviewing the Rio Rand RD9 Advanced OBD2 Diagnostics uh, tool here and this came off of Amazon the girlfriend got me this one for Christmas I believe it cost around uh, 10 to 15 dollars and this one is specifically for Android devices now I did review a uh, device like this similar to this in the past, but that was specifically Specifically for iPhone and uh, I Apple products and stuff like that. Uh, so this one's gonna be for the Android. Now there's a couple of different programs um, that you'll be able to choose from in the marketplace, and I'm gonna go over some of those um, a little later on in the video. And I'm also gonna go over the uh, the program that I have been using with this, and I think it's perfect. Uh, to be honest, for the price, it's a great tool for every petrol head or any guy that's into cars, even if you're not into cars and just you know have problems with your car occasionally and you need to check those uh, check engine codes and you don't want to pay for one of the expensive scanners this is going to be perfect for you guys so what we're going to do is um, jump out to the car uh, the infinity we're going to jump in I'm going to show you a couple of the programs that you can use and the one program that I've been using with this and uh, show you guys how it works man so uh, yeah let's get into it Alrighty, so we are in the car. So first and foremost, what I want to do is just go into the Google Play Store and show you guys a couple of the applications that you can do or that you can download with this device. So first, you're going to uh, put in OBD2 and I'm just going to search that. And as you can see, a whole bunch of device or uh, applications come up for this device. Blue Driver. I believe there's also a couple synthesizers that will uh, play different engine engine noises through the speakers. Um, but for me, I have the Torque Light. Now I think the Torque Pro just removes the ads. But to be honest, the light version does a hell of a lot. So what I'm going to do is open up that application right now. And the one thing that I like about this application is that once you open it, you'll see in the top hand corner that it's searching and connecting automatically to your device so checking proto automatic search it should connect in a quick second here checking connected the ECU okay now I already have a couple of different gauges coolant intake temperature speed RPMs um, a little bit delayed with this but to be honest everything else uh, comes up in real time we got boost coolant I got the boost vacuum gauge for my uh, work truck it's got a turbo on it um, so what I'm gonna do is go through a couple of the different things that you can do with this program so obviously oops obviously uh, what you can do is search up the fault code so what we can do is search for log codes now I'm gonna hope I don't have any check engine lights on here um, you know so as you can see no fault codes were stored so that's great and if there was you can clear them uh, show the pending ones my mistake show historic faults I guess all the old faults I don't even want to look at that maybe we'll look at it a little later off camera so that's good you can clear all of your codes then here's where you start getting into the displays now the displays are these gauges that you see here uh, so if you go here and add display you'll be able to see that you can add a bunch of different gauges now right now I have a display I believe but you can put in oh wait a second is this the dial uh, you can put in uh, different types of gauges um, so this is going to be a graph dial display all widget um, different things like that so I'm just going to go uh, dial first and foremost and as you can see a bunch of different things that you can you can monitor here GPS intake uh, kilometers per liter um, they got the miles per gallon in there as well your banks different sensors for your uh, exhaust banks and stuff like that throttle position timing advance as you can see a bunch of different stuff so let's go ahead and put on uh, let's just say voltage OD OBD I make that mistake ODB OBD2 and uh, we're gonna go to large so as you can see uh, volts here and if I go to move display um, I'll be able to move that anywhere here um, but because it's uh, on already the vacuum gauge it looks a little bit weird there so if you scroll over you can actually set up a full page of your own gauges and stuff like that so that's pretty cool um, so toggle logging this just means you know we're data logging right now which will you know track all of your miles per gallon it does this all in the background keep in mind um, and if you click it again it will stop it and then you can email your logs clear logs uh, reset your trip counter so if you have any odometers or something this is uh, you know reading distance traveled you can have that come up uh, toggle 
heads up display mode so if you put it to this you'll notice that all of your gauges now are in reverse so if you put it up on your dashboard um, it will reflect them onto the uh, windshield works better at night I found but I thought that was pretty cool um, so where were we we're gonna go back to regular mode here uh, calibrate your accelerometer here so uh, you know it'll if you, let's say that you have a new phone or uh, it's not reading properly if you calibrate it um, it should give you uh, you know still a little bit delayed but as you can see revs cooling actually it looks like the little gauge up there moves a little bit uh, better than the big gauge there but then we got coolant temperature intake temperature I like to see what's going on in there so we just calibrated reset all the dials to the default layout we're not going to do that um, let's go into the settings here and as you can see we have some general preferences Bluetooth bug warning auto rotate vehicle weight maximum RPM I set mine to 6500 because that's what my vehicle is um, so let's back it up different themes now this is cool they have actually um, gauges that resemble different cars as you can see Mazda speed uh, Mazda 3 speed 3 Opel's um, the pure white they got a whole bunch of different gauges you can actually see them here just uh, off to the side trailblazers actually my favorite the trailblazer SS different uh, you know things that people have created background images or reset the theme uh, so what we're gonna do is back that up and go into units and obviously you can change it from miles to Celsius feet PSI so on and so forth ODB settings OBD OBD uh, connection this is what I like about this particular app is that if you do have the Wi-Fi version of this you can switch back and forth and uh, this program will work with both of those so that's awesome uh, faster communication uh, maybe this will settings change require you to disconnect well I don't want to do that right now let's maybe that'll help with uh, our lag that we got there IP address Bluetooth device everything of that nature um, next up we have the data logging and upload this is where you'll be able to uh, show see all of the logs that you have going on and where to upload them your web server and things of that nature uh, and then just some other settings power saving mode enable the speech manage available ODB OBD two PIDS's and uh, you know so that's pretty cool so uh, that's pretty much it so I mean this is a real simple program for guys who just want to monitor a few things now you won't be able to change anything uh, as far as data and um, tunes and stuff like that goes with this program but you know you can do zero to 60s I believe there's a few things where you can measure horsepower and stuff like that so this is a cool little program like I say just for the car guy who wants to have a little extra toy to take with um, I actually have my little thing here that can hold the phone if need be so uh, that's pretty cool but uh, yeah I just wanted to share this with you guys so uh, I'm gonna stop talking we're gonna put an end to this video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash that like button down below and if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel because we've got lots of videos with the G35 and other review videos like this so make sure you subscribe check it out and stay tuned for some more future videos um, but I'm thinking that's gonna be it for that one so uh, I'm your boy Don Squally Indy G35 um, yeah that's about it man so I'm gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one I just want to say thanks for watching as always